effortlessly delicious. It's how I would describe this cake, or tot, should I say, which delights with its soft, melting texture that's almost too good to be true. It's a harmony of mild and delicate flavors, with hints of deep dark chocolate and buttery undertones that make it a gentle but luscious treat. Simply indulgent, each bite of this cake is subtle, gently sweet and comforting, just like a warm hug. No grand culinary performance required. This easy and quick treat speaks for itself, and it's a ticket to dessert heaven. In a pan, combine 220 grams of dark chocolate chunks, 100 grams of room temperature butter, and 50 grams of milk. Allow the chocolate and butter to melt over medium-low heat, stirring constantly until you achieve a beautiful, smooth, glossy cream. Let the chocolate mixture cool down while you work on the other ingredients. In a bowl, whisk together 3 eggs, 100 grams of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and some vanilla essence. Beat all the ingredients for at least 5 minutes to incorporate air and achieve a foamy consistency. Add the melted chocolate to the bowl, along with a teaspoon of baking powder, and continue beating until well incorporated. I'm using a 26 cm cake pan lined with parchment paper. While a spring foam pan would be more practical, my temporary kitchen is small and storage is limited. I'm not in the mood to buy extra kitchen stuff until I move into my new house, so I'm using what I already have. Add everything to the pan and level it if necessary. Bake in a preheated conventional oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 20-25 minutes. Allow the cake to stabilize in its pan for 10 minutes. Then transfer it to a wire rack and let it cool for at least one hour. I transferred it to a serving dish with the parchment paper which I then trimmed following the edges of the dish. These types of cakes are always quite fragile and they tend to deflate a bit in the middle. I considered it wasn't worth brewing the cake just to remove the parchment paper under it. While I was waiting for the cake to cool down and set completely, I prepared a chocolate covering to hide the deflated area in the middle. Basically, melt 60-70 grams of a 50% chocolate bar and 50 grams of milk in a pan. Then add 25 grams of ground hazelnuts to it. Whisk to incorporate and let it cool down for a little while until lukewarm. Once it's lukewarm, pour it onto the top of the cake and spread to level it leaving more chocolate to fill the middle and a bit less around the edges of the cake, just to cover imperfections. Slice the cake with a smooth blade knife, using one resolute move. And always clean the blade before slicing again to prevent chocolate from sticking. I hope you like this recipe. Since my audience is mixed, a vegan version of this cake will follow, as I want to make everybody happy. Thank you to all of you for subscribing and watching my videos. I hope we can grow this channel together and celebrate this community with incredible cakes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it, leave a comment, consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.